A nuisance alarm is like when you're cooking, like if you cook bacon and your smoke detector goes off and you're like, oh, not again. And you want to take your smoke detector down or like push the hush button and then it goes off again. So that, that would be a nuisance alarm when it goes off, when there isn't actually a fire or smoldering occurring. What studies have found is that People who repeatedly have these nuisance alarm occurrences, sometimes they tend to disable their alarms. That's a problem because then if they don't reactivate it, if they forget, they may not have that protection when there is a real fire. A new standard is being implemented for nuisance alarms, for smoke detectors, like for homes. And we are testing different nuisance sources. The new standard has three new tests in it. Two tests are burning polyurethane foam or just foam that you would find in furniture. And then the third test is broiling hamburgers. And that's supposed to be a representative test for cooking scenarios. We wanted to compare the nuisance source test in the standard, the broiled hamburger test, to a set of experiments in the lab looking at a broad range of cooking nuisance sources. So not just broiling, but we had some baking going on, we had some frying going on, some toasting going on. So we found that the alarms that conform to the new standard did still put off some nuisance alarms about equal to what we have seen with the alarms to the old standards. We're asking these newer alarms to do multiple things. One is to have better performance in fires. And we also wanted to have them have some baseline performance in nuisance alarms. It's a very difficult problem for them to detect fires, but not detect cooking scenarios. The takeaway is that the new alarms are not nuisance resistant to the extent that you will never have a nuisance alarm, but that's also balanced by the fact that we've asked the newer alarms to be better in detecting fires. My advice for people who have smoke alarms but want fewer nuisance alarms is to make sure that you have a proper distance between your cooking area and your alarm. Nothing should go within six feet and better if you could keep your smoke alarms about 20 feet away, you'll have significantly better nuisance source resistance.